So with GoPro launching version 2.0 of its app that enables file transfers from your camera to your Android or iOS device, you may be thinking, man, I wish I had a way to do that straight to my computer, straight to my hard drive. That would be much more useful. Well, you're in luck. There is a sneaky way to do it, and I'm going to show you how. The first thing you have to do is connect your laptop to your GoPro's Wi-Fi network. Now, this is a little Wi-Fi network that's created by the GoPro uh, that's used by the app to control it, to talk to it, get files and all that, but we're going to use it just to access the files directly. So join it like you would any other Wi-Fi network, enter the password that you created when you updated the firmware, and you should be able to connect just fine. Next, open up a web browser and type in 10.5.5.9 colon 8080. This works because the GoPro is actually running an HTTP server on port 8080, and that's how those files are getting to the iOS app, to the Android app, and in our case, just straight to your computer. The GoPro's HTTP server is very basic, but that's really all we need. We just need links to the files to be able to download them. So if you browse through the directory structure, you will find all your movie files, all your image files, and you'll be able to download them directly. The transfer speed, again, isn't amazing, but this is about the same speed that I get using the app, so it's not, there's no deprecation of it here. And honestly, if you want super speed, just plug the thing in. Chances are it's sitting right next to you anyway. This is really only for a situation where the GoPro is out of reach, you need to offload files, you can't actually connect it to your laptop. That's when this could be useful. Another way this could be useful is if you open up this live folder. In this live folder are the actual files that drive the HTTP streaming part of the GoPro app. So that little preview that you see in the app, this is where those files live. Now they're super low res, so you can't really use them. I mean, I guess you could, but it'd be crappy. You can't really use them for a production, but you can use them uh, to directly preview what the camera's seeing. So pop open this M3U8 in QuickTime or whatever your program of choice is for reading uh, segmented HTTP streams, and there you go. That's it. The uh, HTTP functionality of the GoPro is super simple, but really I don't know what more you could want. It'd be nice to have, you know, GUI and all that, but all that would have to run server side on the GoPro, and that's asking a camera to do some pretty intense web serving, which it seems a little ridiculous. That's it. With this little trick, you'll be able to get your images and videos off your GoPro, as well as do a little bit of previewing of what it's seeing right now. Thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at VideoGrandpa, Ty at TyRoot, and subscribe to this channel for some more sweet videos of cats and technology. Mostly cats. <laughs>